I am Christina Marie Morrison, and this is The Morning Dive. I'm from Huntington Beach, California, and I'm doing a underwater aerial hoop performance. What attracted me to the morning dive shoot, just the fun and experience of shooting underwater. That's something that I've always found very intriguing and it just looks beautiful to do it. In my regular day-to-day -day life, I work as a model, typically in swimwear or lingerie. So this isn't too far off, although I'm not usually underwater. <laughs> like moves but that's all you need to do. You don't need to do really any poses. It's all just in the middle of it. Elongate your legs facing towards me or, okay. or like sitting to the side, you know, with okay. them crossed or your ankles crossed. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, throw some bubbles, uh, sometimes not, you know, off and on. Uh-huh. And that's it. I do not have any aerial hoop experience. I do have experience shooting underwater. I did a morning dive shoot, the uh, rave, one, which was really fun. That was my first time being underwater. And I think I learned a lot, so I'm ready to apply everything that I learned to this one. My strong points to shoot underwater are that I have always been a swimmer since I was a little girl. So I feel comfortable in the water as well as I am very competitive. So I am just tenacious to make sure that I get the shots. Okay, for the rest, let's take this off. The wing thing. Okay. I am not nervous to shoot underwater this time. The first time I was. <laughs> I think to shoot with the aerial hoop underwater, it's going to be a little bit different than what I did last time because the gravity is going to be wanting to pull up the hoop while moving, but I also think that it gives you a lot more variety of poses to do, so I'm looking forward to it. Yes. In order to prepare for the shoot today, I watched lots of YouTube videos on aerial performances and just tried to apply them in my mind since I don't have an aerial hoop and uh, definitely was dreaming all night long about being an aerialist. Okay, I'm gonna go under, you go when you're ready. Okay. Thank you for watching The Morning Dive, and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and follow more content. My advice for people who want to shoot aerial hoops underwater is to watch YouTube videos on the girls that do the aerial hoops because you can learn a lot of different poses and see the graceful ways that they move. I found it to be easier to do the aerial hoop in comparison to the rave go-go dancer that I did last time for morning dive. This one I think was more of my comfortability. My experience shooting with Mary Batetta on the morning dive has been absolutely amazing. She's wonderful, she gives you direction and helps you to do the best that you can. Today I was most proud of the shots that I got on the aerial hoop. Mary showed me some of them off the camera and they're absolutely stunning, so I'm really excited to see the, the final outcome.
If I was to shoot with an aerial hoop again, what I would do different is have some kind of elaborate evening gown that's flowing and just super dramatic. I'm gonna teach you something that you don't already know in the next 30 seconds. If you want to do some flare bartending when you're pouring a shot of 151, throw some cinnamon on it when you're lighting it on fire and it'll spark and crackle. Thank you guys for watching The Morning Dive. Please like, comment, and share. And if you would like to see additional videos of me shooting with The Morning Dive, click the link below.